It's Christmassy. And I thought I would do a sweeping vista in honor of the Hudson River School of Plein Air Painters. There are many things here that are very tempting. Like, look at those rocks and that moss and these trees. But I think when picking a subject, I have to remind myself, like, I can paint rocks and trees anywhere, but this view, I cannot. So we're going to give it a go. So I think I'm going to keep the horizon very high, like that, ooh, shaky hands, I think it will be an interesting dichotomy and also balance to have the mountains up here and then this area of space and then this little busyness of the town. So it's sort of balancing. Today I think I'm gonna start, oh that's a dirty brush, no. Today I'm gonna start from the distance forward because if I can get that set. Even if the weather changes and it gets sunny and I paint this in the sun, then it will just add some drama because it will look like there's clouds shadowing the background. Um, it's supposed to stay cloudy, but heaven only knows these days. It's also very humid, so I have to remember with water mixable oils, at least this brand, um, I shouldn't use too much medium because it won't set on the on the panel and then it just gets really soupy and nasty and hard to work with. It just sits on top. And then anything I put on there subsequently just slides around in an irritating fashion. Okay. Mask this in. Um, I think I'm gonna make it a little shorter than it is. This area here is wider, but I'm going to make it a little... <coughs> I'm going to play God. This island here is also... It's about in the middle of my composition, really, but I think that would look dorky. So I'm putting it a little bit to the left. I bet the purists who live here would be like, how dare you? How dare you? That's not what it looks like. Whoa, that's too dark. This is the lightest part of the water. That's better.
so still. I don't think I've ever seen this so still before. Rock in this foreground. Scrubbing it in here really loose, and then I'll come back and figure out the details. This is just sort of like putting a base coat or a base color down. Okay, so I've gotten a little carried away. There's all this paint here. So I'm just scrape some off. This looks overwhelming. And I feel slightly overwhelmed, but just I have to take it step by step, little blobs, little dots. Don't think too much, it'll be fine. Squint my eyes a lot. Just go in there. Just just do it. Oh. Oh. I'm not trying to be super true to life. I'm just kind of going through and picking out shapes that I, that sort of jump out at me. Uh, there's a lot of like horizontal lines and then the, the shapes of the roofs and then a lot of just going back and forth between the lights and darks and hopefully once I get enough blobs and dots and then it will when you stand back then it will sort of look like something This is the hard part of the process where you have to trust, where I have to trust, use I statements. I have to trust that the process will work because right now from up close it looks really terrible. But if I stand back I can sort of see like, mm, this might be okay. Might turn out. I just pick out some of these. Definitely not all of them because that would just be too much. And I would drive myself crazy. Okay, I think that's pretty much... Oh, sorry, bird. I disturbed a bird. Um, I think this is pretty much all I'm going to do down here because I don't want to get too detailed. I don't love it, but whatever. It is what it is, as they say. I like this part right here. That part doesn't feel overwork. This part is a little funky. This is like whatever.
building. get this road in here and then call it When you stand back, it's like, oh, hmm, might be okay. When you get up close, it's like, ooh, it's not okay. Even though I can see those windows, I think it's not okay to have that level of detail. Those little dots were too dark, too harsh. Well, there you go, folks. Christmas Eve on the Hudson River. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a good holiday and have time to paint or do whatever creative endeavor you enjoy. Bye-bye.